What's up, Ritz Squad and all the football lovers out there? I'm Dominic Rich, and I'm here to give my predictions for the Australia versus Honduras tie, which is an AFC versus CONCACAF World Cup 2018 Intercontinental Playoff. It's like a final across two legs. One match will be played in Honduras and the other match will be played all across the other side of the world in Australia. So for Australia, they and New Zealand are the only teams from Oceania to qualify for a FIFA World Cup. Australia has qualified four times and they first qualified for the World Cup in 1974 West Germany. They took a 32 year break from World Cups, unintentional guys, and they made it for Germany 2006. How ironic, right? Both their first two World Cups came in Germany. And since then, they switched from the OFC Confederation to the AFC Confederation, and they are one of the only teams to have won, you know, both the championship in those two confederations. Wow, hats off to Australia. They also qualified for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa and for 2014 Brazil. Australia is no stranger to intercontinental playoffs. They defeated South Korea in 1973 to qualify for the 1974 tournament and they defeated Uruguay in 2005 to make it for the 2006 tournament. The other two entries was direct qualification because they switched to the AFC and they've been dominating things over there for a long time. Some of Australia's past greats include Mark Bresciano, Mark Viduka, Harry Cool, Mark Bosnich, and Tim Cahill, who are currently playing in this current squad. Australia's best World Cup finish was in 2006 when they made it to the round of 16. They are four times OFC champions and they became AFC champs for the first time back in 2015. For the 2018 World Cup qualifiers, Australia has played eight matches in the second round and winning seven and losing one against teams like Bangladesh, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Jordan, and yeah, I think that's it. They played 10 matches in round three, so they had to play round two against these weaker teams. Then they had to come to round three and they were unable to finish above South, Saudi Arabia and Japan. What am I saying? South Korea. And they missed out to automatic qualification. They had a chance to make it on goal difference. They, they played Thailand and they had like 45 shots and I think it's only two went in, but they have to blame themselves for this, being in this position. They then went on to face an inspiring Syrian team who was playing all of their home matches away in Malaysia and Oman. And, you know, they defeated Syria in the AFC playoff finals and will now face Honduras. The team coach is Ange Postecoglou. Ange, Ange Postecoglou. I don't even know how to say that name properly. And the key men are Aaron Moy, Robbie Cruz, Tom Rogic, Miles Jedinak, Matthew Ryan, the goalkeeper, and talismanic legendary player, Tim Cahill, who is somewhat under an injury cloud. So hopefully Tim Cahill could participate in both legs of this tie. So that's a uh, preview for Australia. Now we move on to Honduras. Honduras has made three previous World Cup appearances so far. Their first being in 1982, a World Cup that seen New Zealand debut as well, and Peru was also involved in that World Cup. A 28 year absence then followed, and then they qualified for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa and they also made it to the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. 
Their best finish at the World Cup was in the group stages and Honduras was CONCACAF champs in 1981. No wonder they qualified for the 1982 World Cup, right? Golden age, I guess. They have won the Copa Central Americana on four previous occasions, the last being in 2017, this year actually, you know. Some of Honduras' best, or uh, some of their past greats include Carlos Pavon, Gilberto Yearwood, Carlo Cosley, Rohe Espinosa, Marvin Chavez, Wilson Palacios, and Honduras most ever cap player, current captain, Mano Figueroa. Figueroa, Figueroa. I always find it hard to say that name. For the 2018 World Cup qualifiers, Honduras placed second in round four of CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers to make it to the hex. They were bettered only by Mexico L3 and edged out Canada by one point and El Salvador by six. In the hex, they came up against Mexico, USA, Costa Rica, Panama, and Trinidad and Tobago, where the top three place teams will qualify automatically to the World Cup, and the fourth place team, being Honduras, will play the winner of the AFC playoffs, which is Australia. Honduras pipped the USA to fourth by one point, but missed out on automatic qualification to Panama on one of the most dramatic days I have ever seen in football. What a day. What a day that was. Let me even, let me talk about that there a little. Trinidad and Tobago, minnows, considered minnows by USA. They didn't even consider, you know, what would happen in that game. They lost. They lost that game, got knocked out of the World Cup. Honduras defeated Mexico in you know somewhat of a controversial fashion because people say Mexico threw the game but Honduras you know they won the game and put themselves 13 points to actually qualify in front of USA Panama they defeated Costa Rica like really they defeated Costa Rica at home and there was somewhat of a ghost goal the ball didn't go over the line and Panama prevailed in that game. There were talks of rematch and all that, blah, blah, blah. It never happened. Even down in South America, where we saw um, Peru take on Colombia and Radamel Falcao was telling the, the Peruvians to chill, chill. This match, this 1-1 situation will take us in both of us. You know, it would be beneficial for both of us. We saw Peru getting knocked out and Argentina, not Peru getting knocked out. We saw Chile getting knocked out. We saw Argentina making it on, you know, brilliance of Lionel Messi. We saw Venezuela knocking out the, the Paraguayans and it, it was amazing. It was an amazing day. But let me go on, let me go on. The team coach is Jorge Luis Pinto and the key men are Anthony Lozano, the Barcelona B-man, Mano Figueroa, the captain, Romel Cueto, Albert Ellis, and veterans Bonique Garcia and Emilio Isaguer. The first leg will be played in Honduras. The second leg, of course, will be played in Australia. My predictions, guys, for this tie will be the first leg will be a 2-1 win for Honduras you know the Australians are gonna find it really hard to play over on this side of the world and they're gonna struggle in Honduras most teams do struggle in Honduras as the USA um, but in Australia the return leg down under we'll see the Australians bounce back to win this match by three goals to one and go on to win on a four to three aggregate Australia make it to the World Cup in dramatic fashion guys let me know your prediction for this tie in the comments down below I would really love to see Honduras qualify for the World Cup they deserve it after all the fight they have shown but Australia has the edge. In my opinion, Australia has the edge. You saw what they did versus Syria. You know, we're going to have Tim Cahill. He's going to be really influential in this game. So I think they're going to use him sparingly in Honduras. And in the match versus Australia, in Australia, 
I think he will play a bigger role in that game. He will get a few days to rest, strap up that ankle, take some painkillers, drink a Red Bull, and go on and fly some of those headed goals past the goalkeeper from Honduras. But guys, there you have it, my predictions. Let me know your predictions down below. Uh, this World Cup has been amazing. You know, there's gonna be a lot of grief, a lot of happiness for some teams. But, you know, all in all, it's an amazing experience for everyone. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's get the channel over 3K subscribers. Smash the thumbs up button as well. And don't forget to comment. Participate, leave your comments down below. Leave all your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So guys, until next time, from your boy Dominic, I would like to say peace out, thank you, and rich squad.